Now that the PS4 Pro and the Xbox One X are presenting games on 4K TVs, gamers are arguing about false advertising from Sony and Microsoft for touting new games with 4K badges. Very few games in the console library can run at native 4K. It sounds pretty misleading. But who is the most guilty? Sony advertises the PS4 Pro as Dynamic 4K, and Microsoft markets the Xbox One X as True 4K. Right away, it's obvious that Sony went for the title that accurately describes what the Pro offers consumers. Dynamic 4K means a changing resolution scale to favor performance, which is an accurate representation of what the PS4 Pro games accomplish. But this advertisement for PS4 Pro shows Star Wars Battlefront 2. FIFA 18, Call of Duty World War II, and GT Sport proclaiming play in 4K on PS4 Pro. The problem here is that all but one of these games plays at around 40 to 70% of native 4K on the Pro. Game boxes for titles like this on the Pro and the X have badges that designate these titles as 4K supported. If a game never reaches 3840 by 2160p, is Sony and Microsoft allowed to say 4K? Both consoles are capable of hitting a true native 4K on select games, but let's take a look at the enhanced list of games on both 4K consoles. Sony claims to have 225 enhanced games on the PS4 Pro, and Microsoft has just over 160 games enhanced on the Xbox One X. And both lists are loaded with non-4K benefits and unreleased games without definitive information. So we're going to look at over 40 games that Microsoft has labeled as 4K Ultra HD. There are a few ground rules here. Only games that claim to be 4K by Microsoft are included here. Big titles like Horizon Zero Dawn run at checkerboarded 4K, Uncharted 4 at native 1440p, but The Last of Us Remaster runs at native 4K. Smaller titles like farming, chess, and obscure indies are omitted from this list just to save some time and focus on the big AAA games. Microsoft defines 4K UHD as, quote, a game has a 2160p frame buffer output that includes native 4K, checkerboarding, and dynamic resolution, close quote. In cases such as Agents of Mayhem, Ark Survival Evolved, games that run at 1440p or lower do not have a 4K UHD label on the official Xbox One X enhanced listing. There are about 40 games on Microsoft's X enhanced list that claim to be 4K UHD titles. I found three games that do not meet the criteria of a 2160p frame output. First of the three, my favorite game of the year, Assassin's Creed Origins. The game runs at max, according to Digital Foundry, at 38 54 by 2016p and scales down from there to favor performance. This is 87% of native 4K, but the PS4 Pro maxes out at 53% of native 4K and at a maximum of 1584p. Second, Final Fantasy 15 claims to be a 4K UHD title on the X but it actually runs at 1584p all the way up to 1728p, never hits the native 2160p output. This is roughly 80% of native 4K, very similar to the output on the PS4 Pro. The third misleading title falsely advertised by Microsoft is Mafia 3. It runs at a maximum output of 1728p, which is 80% of native 4K, and never hits the native 4K target. The PS4 Pro version runs at 1080p up to 1440p, 25 to 44% of native 4K. The question becomes, if a game runs the majority of native 4K, more than 50% of 3840 by 2160p, is it considered 4K? Let's take a look at the remaining 4K labeled games that actually hit 2160p or quote, true 4K. The X has less than 10 4K UHD games that don't hold native 4K without using dynamic scaling. This means that the game targets 2160p hits it, 
but lowers the resolution to favor performance. First of all, two Call of Duty games, Infinite Warfare and World War II, use dynamic scaling down from 2160p to keep frames refreshing at 60. The PS4 Pro and the Xbox One X are either using checkerboarding or temporal scaling on the horizontal axis, but the Pro has to come up from 1560p or half of 4K to fill a 4K screen. Fallout 4, Halo 5, and For Honor use a full 3840x2160p frame buffer on the X, which relies on a resolution scaling quite often to keep the game performing at 30fps. The PS4 Pro versions of Fallout and For Honor run at a native 1440p resolution, which is 47% of full 4K. Star Wars Battlefront 2 runs at a range of 1800p to 2160p or 83 to 100% of native 4K on Xbox One X. Except Microsoft does not have the game labeled as 4K UHD. Sony does have it labeled at 4K even though the game runs at 1296 to 1440p or 36 to 44% of native 4K. It never once hits the 2160p native 4K target. But to even the playing field, Skyrim on the Xbox One X targets 2160p but relies on dynamic resolution scaling for busy scenes at about 78 to 100% of native 4K. The PS4 Pro does not rely on dynamic scaling and runs at native 4K with a steady frame rate over the X. But both versions of Elder Scrolls Online run at native 4K on the X and the Pro. Finally, Wolfenstein, the new Colossus, runs at a majority of the time at a full native 2160p, dropping with dynamic scaling for a 60 FPS performance target. The PS4 Pro, however, runs at 1440p or 44% of native 4K, never hitting that resolution target of true 4K. So what X-enhanced games actually run at native 4K with no compromises? Well, over 20 of the 40 games that meet this criteria of 4K UHD actually run at native 4K, Crackdown 3, Diablo 3, Destiny 2, Elite Dangerous, Paladins, Overwatch, Formula 1 2017, FIFA 18, Forza Horizon 3, Forza 7, Gears of War 4, Halo Wars 2, Hitman, Killer Instinct, LA Noir, Madden 18, Middle Earth Shadow of War, Outlast 2, Rise of the Tomb Raider, and Super Lucky's Tale. And the PS4 Pro holds native 4K on sports titles, LA Noir, The Last of Us Remaster, and Elder Scrolls Online. But the rest of the PS4 Pro games run at a range of 1080p, which is 25% of 4K, up to a maximum of 2K resolution when they're not using checkerboarding. If anyone is more guilty of false advertising or misleading consumers, Sony pushes the Pro as a dynamic 4K console on the box, but uses advertisements with the 4K moniker on games that barely get over halfway to 4K. Developers are pushing hard for 4K gaming on consoles, not Microsoft, not Sony. Sony built a console to push games beyond that 1080p HD gaming, and Microsoft built a console to push 4K gaming, both on 4K TVs. Even if only a few games on each platform display native 4K, games are looking better than ever on consoles. And if performance of a game is compromised because of a push for higher resolution, that blame is 100% on the developer because the Xbox One X has the hardware power and the bandwidth to push great visuals and steady performance. And if you want 60 FPS on every game on console, well, that's next gen, and that's not till 2019 or 2020. This is Colt Eastwood. Thank you so much for watching. And I hope whenever you've seen this video that you've spent more time enjoying gaming than fighting with complainers and trolls about how games look on the other platform. If you've learned something or you like this video, subscribe for more. Also add me on Twitter and Xbox Live at Colt Eastwood. And if you want a custom logo or a gamer pick for PSN, Xbox Live or social media or Twitch, 
Send me an email and I'll get you a price quote. Have a great week, gamers, and I'll talk to you soon.